there are lots of technology blogs and sites out there doing very cheap and dirty video, you know, with a very low quality camcorder, whether it's unboxing video of the iPhone or someone playing with it, and it's, you know, it's, it's low quality. And we thought that, you know, we would be offering a distinctive piece of video by making sure it was matching the kind of broadcast quality that you see, whether it's the one o'clock news, whether it's News 24, so that when people are watching our video, they're seeing something which is a little bit, you know, less rough around the edges, it's more polished, uh, and, they'll, and they'll feel that quality difference between, you know, something on Engadget or, or, or Gizmodo. How do you think about the relation between the embedded video and the text that it's embedded in? I mean, does it say the same thing or completely different things? Or, I'm trying to make it you different. Know, I mean, and how, do, and how do they speak to each other then? A more traditional kind of narrative package piece of video, and... Um, and, and being lower down uh, in the story, I think it had a, you know, a far lower ratio of watch to, to click of the read than the, the, the piece of video at the top of the story. You know, you've got the two different clips from two different contributors to that package, and they were different clips to the ones that were actually in the package. So they, they're the real kind of stuff that works on the technology side, and the, the, the regular package worked nicely on telly. One day I counted out that in one day to get one story onto the internet, I'd gone through 15 different pieces of software. This is uh, things like EMPS, which is the, uh, uh, the system that the BBC and many other companies use to, to just simply uh, get material, get, search the wires and get stuff into uh, running orders for the news bulletins, but also things like Adobe Premiere to edit with. Um, Jupyter and QCut are the BBC's uh, picture file sharing systems, editing systems. I had to use those as well, using the camera, of course. Many of those things were new to me.